water experts gathering in the high country today with the common goal of trying to avoid running dry. The group discussing the future of the state's water supply and meteorologist Jorge Torres spoke to some of the panelists about what's being done to take care of our most precious resource. Water is life here in the desert and 40% of that water supply comes to us from underground. But there's a concern. Our concerns that uh, rural Arizona, uh, Coconino County and other rural areas do not have um, uh, an ability to manage or monitor uh, its groundwater. Areas like Phoenix and Tucson have groundwater regulation under AMAs or active management areas. The rest of the state, including Flagstaff, don't. And that could be an issue. So we're, we're vulnerable to groundwater pumping. Managing that groundwater was a key topic discussed at an event in Flagstaff on Wednesday, led by Arizona's regional office of the National Audubon Society. The event was very focused on groundwater, and we heard from a variety of panelists about what issues they're worried about and why. More than 70 people attended, ranging from realtors to ranchers, bringing up their concerns and learning about what's being done at the Arizona legislature regarding groundwater management, including a possible option for rural communities that is not currently in place. We're working with the Department of Water Resources on to have available so that rural Arizona can take a proactive approach to managing its water. So that in the future, groundwater in these areas won't be taken without regard, including in Coconino County. The belief here is whoever has the longest straw, whoever puts their straw in first, is the one who wins. And, and that's not the way for sustainability, and that's not the way for water management. For Running Dry, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15, Arizona.